Hi, my name is Hilda Silkin, and I'm the author of Blue Mountain Miss. I am doing another entry today, and I was just reading the news. Um, this bus crash, now I have no clue anything about, um, but what's very disturbing is it could actually be linked to C3. Uh, Bosnia, Bulgaria has an old Ottoman history with Anatolia, and with that, um, they may have injured either uh, men or soldiers or uh, their media people in the quest in pushing that dumbification project. And um, it goes back to the story, we really need variety of intelligence. Um, another theory that was said to me, which is very, very disturbing, is they're killing a lot of men uh, so they can fill their mental institutions and do more tests on women. Um, I've dealt with these guys for years in studying them. You remember I did Iraq 2003 um, and why I generated so much half the things that I witnessed or experienced or went through um, dealing with um, what I call Lucifer is the ethics component of existence, the higher intelligence. Um, another disturbing thing that was said to me was they whacked off all the most smartest people and they brought up the dumb people so they can start over again. It's that psychology of old form of governance that we're trying to get rid of. And what did Hannah do when she tried to open just a small little area of a model that's different? Thousands of people were on her, and this is what these guys do. So if by chance, um, now this could be a real accident, I have no clue, but if it is linked to uh, all men dying or soldiers or media people, you know, again, you are accountable as Jews uh, for the bettering of human lives. Um, it's the component that this person produced so much and they're still working on Wings, but Wings was not your discovery. Wings was Hannah's discovery. You have to be a Turkologist to decipher that. Um, you just can't be a random person. Uh, how can I put it? It's like uh, a, a pen. Uh, pens are no big deal today, but the first pen out of the ink feather mode is a big deal for humanity. Um, Hannah's now mid-55. Um, you know, she's dealt with these guys for years, but these are the kind of things she is fighting. Um, and even today, she went to a local supplier. The house has been sold. Uh, certain things, uh, which is a plumber by the name of Reed in nor North uh, Markham, even things like that, uh, he's been there eons his father's been there his father's father's been there as far as i know like it's, he's been there for a while um it's very very disturbing some of the things that have occurred in canada and in the globe and um i'm trying to sort of link the pieces together on the ethics component of how we exist uh why do they do stuff like that they possibly need a news run for the media we have to really reevaluate how we exist, and that's the key of this person here. So, uh, starting from the age of 10 to now, running after these guys, running after certain people for ethics, it has never stopped uh, because of things she's witnessed, and some of it has been absolutely horrific. So, this is another entry today. Thank you, and have a good day.